Truck Diesel! How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Let's get this thing running, man. Did you have a good time? Ooh! She's running, we're back in the truck, we're back in the truck. How was your trip, Diesel? Oh, you're so excited to see me. I'm so excited to see Did you. Did you have a good time, boy? You have a good trip? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I miss you a lot, man. Good boy. Yeah, you were real good. Look at this. You didn't make a mess. We are now on the island. It's a 10 hour drive. First, we got our first drop right here in Porto Basque, right where we are. Then we got two drops on the other side of the island. So we gotta go 10 hours, I think. Eight to 10 hours. I think it's eight hours across. Might be 10, I don't know. Probably 10 with stops. All the way around to the St. John's, Newfoundland area, most eastern point of North America. Unload there probably tomorrow morning. Two drops, two different places. Head back here, get back on the ferry, and do it all over again. Days oh, wait, so you are starting to shed again, man. That sucks. That means there's gonna be hair everywhere for the rest of the summer. Good boy. Nothing I can do about it, so we might as well embrace it. Good boy. Speaking of which, you got one hanging out of your eyeball. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, I was in your eyeball, man. What you, what you doing in your eyeball? Okay, that's enough. So they are unloading the boat. Over here and whatnot. We're probably gonna be one of the last ones off the upper deck here. And we're gonna do our drop right here in Porto Basque, Newfoundland. It's Ronda Island. And then we're gonna go all the way across the island to the other side of the island, the Island. And then we're gonna unload two drops there tomorrow uh, around St. John's. And then we're gonna book it back here to the ferry and get off the island, get back to the mainland, and figure out what we're doing from there. A lot of waiting when you go to Newfoundland. If you ever come to Newfoundland, there's a lot of waiting. That's okay, because it's always very exciting, because you go to somewhere new, right? They call the island of Newfoundland the Rock. So we're now on the Rock. Welcome to the Rock. All right, we are leaving the boat. Goodbye, ferry. It was nice. I slept most of the time. <laughs> Leave ferry. You bet, Manny. That's what I'm doing. See what I'm doing here? I'm leaving the ferry. Everybody's smiling at me. Everyone's always so happy on the ferry. They all love their jobs, I guess. There we go, we are off the boat. Kilometers. Dry land. Grand Bay West Road. And Mandy already won't shut up. Dry land. Diesel, we're off the boat, man. We're on the rock. As you can tell, it's there's like no trees. It's just a rock. That's all it is. They call it the rock because it is a rock. It makes sense if you think about it. it. Makes sense. We're not going very far. We got four and a half kilometers till our drop. I don't know if they're open yet. Trumpets. It's supposed to be trumpets to announce our arrival. Apparently, somebody missed the memo. Yeah, welcome to Newfoundland, everybody. One of the most secluded, habited parts of Canada. Hats off to all you who can live out here, because it. It must be so difficult to do business because everything has to come from the mainland. Almost everything. That's very expensive. Like I was telling you yesterday, it cost $700 both ways for a truck to get here. Like me, $1,400 round trip. You know what you can do with $1,400? You could fly to England, hang out there for a bit. Fly to Australia. 
trail yet. Hang out there for a bit. No, no. This money got spent to go on eight hours across on a boat to a rock. Whatever. That's okay. Look at the sights you get to see though, right? Look at this diesel. Look at this. They literally build their houses like right on the rocks. Am I supposed to be in the left lane? I should probably be in the right lane. Get in the right lane, trucker jack. Are you in the left lane, trucker jack? I can see the comments already. Wait, wait, wait. No, I want to be in the left lane. It's the left lane exit. Right lane exits. Ha! Ah! Oh, wait, maybe it doesn't. Ah, shoot, I should be there. Get in the right lane, trucker jack. Should have listened to you. Should have listened to you. Sorry. Uh oh. What's going on here? Why are we stopping? Stop. I'm going past all these people. Why are you so oh because Tim Hortons? <laughs> this is the parking for Tim Hortons. Look, there it is on the left. That is funny. That is funny. Everybody needed their Timmies. <laughs> we must be still in Canada. That's how you know. That's how you know. Looking for our address. Looking for our address. I think it's a ways down here. I've been here before, so. Port Obasque. Newfoundland. 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 You know, it's such an original name. <laughs> hey, we found some new land. What should we call it? Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Indeed. Makes sense to me. Okay, we got that delivery done. Now we're headed to Harbor Grace, Newfoundland. 869 kilometers away on the other side by St. John's, close to it. Hey look, this is a new development in Newfoundland. This is what a new development looks like on the rock. At least it looks like a new development. We're on the left here. Very nice. Very nice. They need some trees though. <laughs> trees don't grow here. I heard that once, trees don't grow very well on a rock. The trees do get bigger as we get uh, to the center of the island. You'll see. We just left Portal Basque. Begun our journey. So disconnected from everything. Way out here, middle of the ocean. Maybe not the middle of the ocean. On a map, it looks like you could almost jump from Newfoundland to the mainland, but a little further than that, about 200 kilometers off the mainland, or 120 miles. A lot of ocean between us, yeah. I'm still looking for Timmy's. Still looking for Timmy's. It is sure beautiful though, eh? They don't even need trees. It's beautiful without the trees. The scenery uh, reminds me a lot of pictures that I've seen of our uh, northern landscapes in Western Canada, in uh, Northwest Territories. Looks very much like that to me. I still want to go up to Northern Canada one day. I would love to do that. On like a vacation, drive up there, ride up there on my bike. Cause it does get hot up there in summertime. But Canada isn't frozen in ice all year round. I keep getting asked that. Isn't Canada cold all year? No, <laughs> we are very hot in the summertime. You realize how the, the tilt of the earth works, right? The reason we're so cold in wintertime because we hardly get any sunlight because the southern hemisphere is hogging all the sun right so in summertime it gets switched and we hog all the sun and the sun never sets on northern canada and it hardly sets in canada at all so we get lots of sunlight in summertime making it very very hot just like the south the only thing about that is the south doesn't change that much. 
they get really hot, and then for winter time, they get hot. For us in Canada, in summertime, we get really hot, and in winter time, we get really cold. Alright, Timmy's has got to be close to here somewhere. We just passed Corner Brook, and I know the next thing on the road is a Timmy's. Is it around this corner? It's kind of nice out here, eh? Look at this. Look at that big rock right there. Very nice. Where's my Timmy's? I cannot continue my day until I have my Timmy's. Where's my Timmy's? Is it around here? I think it's in here, isn't it? Very close to here somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Well, let's fast forward this till we get to Timmy's so you get to see the scenery at least. Then you don't have to listen to me talk. Timmy's. Timmy's. I knew you were here, Timmy. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Oh, so nice to see you, Tim. So nice. You left your signal on there, driver. Oh well. I'm sure it won't kill the battery while he goes in and gets his Timmy's. So you got to see some of uh, the Newfoundland Cornerbrook or Cornerbrook Newfoundland scenery there. It's a very beautiful part of the island. Uh, not uh, the bigger population lives on the east side of the island, sort of like everything else in North America. The more people, the further east you go, the more people there are. That's the same on the island here. That seems to be the the theme everywhere in the world. You know that? If you think of Australia too. All the new worlds, like all the new settle, uh, like the new colonies or whatever, the new colonized world. Everybody settles in the east. It's like Eastern Australia has more people. Eastern US has more people. Eastern Canada has more people. Even if you think about it, even Asia. Eastern Asia has more people. Why? What's this whole obsession with the east? The only thing that... The only country that I can think of right now that isn't like that would be Russia. There's more people in the west of Russia than there is in the east of Russia. But Russia is so big, it's hard to tell which way is up and down, right and left, and east and west, and north and south. It's just so big, but you know what I mean? Hmm. I'm blabbing about nothing. Let's go get our Timmy's. I really need a coffee. Make myself sane again. All right, so we're about halfway across the island. And this is where they have this moose detection thing, this big yellow sign coming up on the right. There's flashing lights on it. When it's flashing, there's a moose on the road. Moose on highway when lights are flashing. So you see all those black posts in the ditch on both sides? I showed you this last time. Those are moose detector thingers. There's so many moose out here. There's more moose than people. If a moose walks through the ditch, it sets off the alarms, which makes all these lights on the side of the road start flashing. When those lights are flashing, you know a moose is near or on the highway. Like these lights on the right here, they would be flashing if there was a moose. Man, if I lived out in this area as a child, I would have had so much fun with that. Oh yeah, at night I would have come out here with whatever it took to set those things off. I know I'm a troublemaker, but wouldn't you do it if you were like a kid or a teenager? Go and trip the moose lights and everyone thinks there's a moose on the road. Ah! Nope. Just Josh. Just Josh. <laughs> Why and they got a scale here? What? What do you want with me? Is it open? How do I know if it's open or not? How do I know if it's open? All right, well, I didn't see any open sign. I didn't see any flashing lights. So I'm gonna keep going. They got a, oh, it's like an old one. That's why it's not even open anymore. They closed it. All right, whatever. Why don't you take your sign down then? <laughs> oh well. All right, yeah, 
we are on our way. Beautiful day to be in Newfoundland. Yeah, it's time for another break. I don't know where we are, but we're at an Irving. Just a little further down the road from our last clip. That makes sense, doesn't it? And there's a Tim Hortons here. Right on the other side of this trailer that's right there. And that's a student driver. The Central Training Academy, student driver. We got some new B truckers here. Learning the trade, learning how to control that rig right there. Fresh meat. I'm still kind of fresh myself. I mean, I got my license in 2006. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I've had my class one commercial license for eight years. Wow. Hey, Diesel. Wow. Anyways, let's walk the weasel without letting him get too muddy. And I parked right in the puddle. Oh, lovely. All right, Diesel, they look a little path, just for us. Why does that thing got so much water pouring out of it? See that? Where's all that water coming from? Something in that trailer is leaking. All right, a nice little path for us, Diesel. Nice little path for us, eh? Go do your diesel business. Go do your weasel business, man. So we are, what is this place called again? Halfway up the island, right where they have those moose sensors. Somebody put the name of that town in the comments because I totally forget right now. Sorry about that. We're in Newfoundland anyways. And stopped at the Irving with the Timmy's. Timmy's right beside it. And now we found this nice little path here. This nice little picnic area. And I again didn't bring my picnic basket. I have to get me a picnic basket yet. Hey look, there's a big rock over here. Let's go climbing. Diesel, you wanna go climb? Oh, you're busy. He's busy. Done? Wanna go climb on a rock? Go climb on a rock, man. Get on that rock, man. Get on that rock. No, don't pee on it. Get on the rock. Come on, bud. Get on the rock, man. Get on the rock. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Yeah! Good boy. Who's the king? Who the man? Who's the man? Well, I don't like it up there, man. Fine. Whatever. Maybe I'll climb on the rock. Hang out of the way. I'm going on the rock, bud. Except I'm lazy, I'm gonna find the <laughs> lowest side. I'm also holding two things, so I can't use my hands. Okay, here we go. Watch it. Wah. We are now king of Newfoundland. Me and Diesel. The kings of Newfoundland. So yeah, there's a little town over there. Look at that. A little lake behind there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but very nice. Very nice. Oh, somebody's over there checking out why that truck is leaking so much. Are we trying to figure out, hey, there's something lake in here. All right, Diesel. Can you sit? Oh, good boy. <laughs> What's wrong with your ear, man? Let's just put both his ears like that. Hey, stay. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Diesel, look here. <laughs> hey, it's funny. See how long it stays like that. All right, let's get down. <sighs> good boy. Hey, guys. Well. It's just time to head on down the road. We've got another four hours of driving. Something like that. Or four hours. Look at that view. Not too shabby. Other than the sun shining in my face. I thought we were going east. Why is the setting sun in my face? That means I'm like facing west, doesn't it? the end of the day 
Got all the way across the island and now we are near St. John's, Newfoundland. Actually, we're not that close. We're in uh, Whitbourne, Newfoundland. We're still a little ways away, but we're far enough. We're at the Irving Big Stop. I don't know if you can see it over there, but there it is. It's got a subway in it, and yes, I just bought a sub, and it was delicious. And now I'm full. Now we're gonna work on the video. I'm gonna watch a movie, and we're gonna go to bed. Might even not watch a movie, I'm tired. But we shall see. I'm gonna be back here on this channel at 4 a.m. Central Time tomorrow here in North America. So, be there. I'll see you tomorrow.